Hey yo everybody, XCI here for another Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. Got a lot of cleanup to do. Not a lot, I've already done a lot of cleanup, but I'd like to kind of uh, summarize some of the codex stuff that I found and, and just do some, you know, general maintenance here. I, I just rechecked the items, made sure everything was sound. I got uh, I got the Mabari set up with war paint. I did discover with the add-on. Um, what you have to do is you have to, you have to uh, unsummon the Mabari, and then you have to put them on your team, and then you have to resummon them. So it's a little bit of a mess uh, because otherwise it'll show here as a summoned creature. He'll show here as well, but then you can't see him in the inventory. Like it won't allow you to mess with his stuff. Um, they just treat it like a summoned creature. So heads up there just in case someone finds this add-on and wants to use it for themselves. Uh, I'm gonna go. Why am I pausing? I thought I was clear. <laughs> I thought I was clear. Why? What do you mean there's a fight? What, where's this fight? How did I not notice that? There they are. Man, all I wanted was a plant, man. I just wanted some herb, man. Uh, I wanted to go back to town and just clean up some stuff with the, um, the merchant. That sucks. Okay, well... Oh, I've already. Uh, I've also cleaned up some of this stuff here. Oh, and I wanted to do the codex. Okay, the codex will come next. But I cleaned up some stuff here. Uh, I was screwing things up. The, the rapid shot. I was treating it like a, like an activated attack, but it's a, it's a stance. So that's why I kept disabling it by uh, by accident. Anyway, so now I know. So everything's gonna die a lot quicker now because I got everything beautifully organized. So we have, you know, if I want to stop someone, I start here. If I want to really hurt them, I come up to here. Otherwise, it's debuffs. Same thing with here. If I want to attack fast, it starts here, and then it's uh, aim, and then it's debuff, debuff. So uh, a little bit well, like a well-organized toolbar man goes a long way uh, for a guy like me. So here we go. Let's finish this up. Oh, they didn't even know I'm here. Oh, I also ran out of fire arrows because of the rapid shot, so I have 20 left. This is my last 20 arrows here. I also, and I'll talk about this now, I've also messed with the tactics for all the uh, characters. They each have a trigger now where they will attack the guy I attack. I just want everyone focused on one guy, take them out, and then move on to the next one. They might have other triggers, like I didn't set up the dog, uh, but they might have other triggers where um, if certain conditions are met, they will they'll disregard. The one that says if I'm attacking something, that means you attack it as well. So, for example, it's not happening right here. Am I just missing everything? On there we go. There she. Go. There goes everybody. So I don't know what happened there, but oh, and she'll do a lightning attack uh, as a response to me attacking something. So I'm liking the setup. I feel a little bit more in control. I don't think I don't think we're gonna go down as often. I think that was kind of embarrassing for a while there, and I think it's just because of. You know, everyone was doing their own thing, and, and there's just no... There has to be some unity when you're doing fights like this. Did I just leave my plant behind? I wanted some herb, and I actually, like... <laughs> I left my elf root behind. Uh, some great comments in the last couple episodes that I will try to remember as I play. Um, for example, the gems. I'm going to sell all the gems now. People have made me feel a lot better about just selling them. Uh, I was afraid out that they meant something, that they were used for something, so alas... They're Any luck just with money. Poison? Oh, you're here. Okay, I'll get stock. Your poison in a second. But let me get rid of some uh, gems. Let me get some money back. So, okay, there we go. Let's do some quartz. Yeah, you're all gone. And we got some stone there. And I think that's it. Oh, and there's stuff like this, like crystal. You know, I don't want to be selling these things because I guess they enchant. They're used to enchant items. So, that's pretty cool. Now, I think I had. Um, I don't need this staff anymore. I'm going to keep that. And I don't need this hood anymore. I'm gonna keep that. I think that's it. Uh, is this for Xander? Oh, I kind of. I'm gonna hold on to that constitution. Okay, so that's a quick wrap up there. Um, who did not have? I felt like there was one person. I came and double checked equipment. Oh, oops, he's fine. Oh goddamn, they're all sore. Um, they didn't have all their gear here. They need belts, for example, like cloth. But I feel like I shouldn't be putting. I shouldn't be putting heavy heavy gear on. Well, they're not a mage. I mean, the cler clerics in this game aren't really spellcasters. They're, well, she's a rogue. But end of story. So maybe I don't feel too guilty. I, I got to get her some leather. Uh, that's the last thing I had to do. And then there's Morgan. She's also got cloth. Now, in her case, I don't know if I should be making her less effective with magic. I need her, her to have as much magic as possible. So I should probably get her something as well. She's got leather and leather. I'll just try to... I'll get two leather pieces of gear here. Um, real quick. Any luck with that poison? Nope. Oh, you're here to see my stock. Seeing your stock. 
All right, so let's let's hope that he's still got some leather. Maybe I bought it all in that. No, no, he's got enough. Oh, it's not a leather though. Should I do it? I mean, I feel like I'm gonna do it anyways because I feel like they need to have more defenses. They're doing better, but I don't like the idea that they're running around with cloth. Also, I don't like how their helmet looks with <laughs> their clothes. That's just the way it is. I don't like it. There we go. If you're gonna act like a warrior, you might as well look like a warrior. <laughs> I'll see how bad that affects her spell casting, and then I'll swap it out. I mean, as soon as I get a robe, I'll, I'll put her back, but... Oh, shoot, but this has, like, mega bonuses. Okay, maybe in Morgan's case, I'm gonna leave her as is. Um, that's it. Uh, should I sell? No, I'm gonna hold on to that set of leather. I'll give it to uh, Sten or something when I... Uh, Very well. When I bring him back onto the team. I put him on the team real quick just to offload some of the excess gear. I've got a cousin in the Templars. He says the mages in the oh, tower around on like Kalanhard are all turning into demons. They always say that, though. It, well, oh, this that time is kind of true. useful because I talk sure over all this crap, so at least you guys can read it. What's to do? I thought you killed them. Easier said than done. Mages pick a fine time to go turning into demons, I tell you. Oh, yeah, so the mages turn into demons, that's right, if they don't control their magic or something like that when they go into fade, uh, something like that. My buddy was talking to me about how mages work. Uh, okay, so what can I do real quick? Oh, I should do codexes. That might that might completely demolish this episode. Okay, let's do the codex real quick. Now, I had to write the numbers down so that I could quickly get through this. So we have 68. We have the maker, we have a poem about the maker. It, it really is kind of referencing like God creating the world and whatever. So this this maker creates the world, gives it to his firstborn, says for them to do something with it. They don't do anything with it. So he comes back and he says, fine, I've created opposites so that there's always an opposition so that it gives it that kind of motivation to, to, to I guess, make things happen, like do something with the thing that the maker has given the firstborn. And then he just sits back and lets the, lets the, lets the creations do what they will with, um, with uh with what he's given them so that's the thing on the maker pretty pretty straightforward lore we have 91 um this guy right here uh the sacred ashes of andraste so this is uh the ashes that the red cliff uh knights are looking for for the earl um for Eamon, so to heal him because no magic can heal the earl right now so they're trying to figure that out uh we have 109 we have the chastens so these are the barbarians now interesting thing with the barbarians is that they they both respect and fear the witches of the wild. Uh, supposedly they got what was it they got? They learned their magic from the witches of the wild. The, the one they respect the most is Flemeth, uh, the greatest of all the witches. And now the, the the interesting thing here though, after this read through is that they they they're pretty much left alone out there. But um, but if they ever joined forces, they would become a threat. So if they ever joined forces again, they could be a threat. And I started thinking, wouldn't it be cool if the Grey Wardens could somehow like, arrange something where the Grey Wardens can help unite the Chastened to fight the Blight, to help fight the Blight? I, I think that would be cool to pull off. I think 28 was the next one, Lothering. Yeah, the place we're at right now. Uh, so I guess it's like a, 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 an awesome hub. It's like a merchant's hub. It's a huge trade route. Dude, now we have some updates. We have Alistair's update here for me talking to Alistair that he was raised by um, by Eamon uh, Garin um, and that the wife that Garin had, uh, that Eamon had taken on had presumed that maybe the reason why the you know Eamon took care of this uh, bastard kid uh, wasn't so much that he's just taking care of him but that he could be his father and so she very quickly sent uh, sent Alistair away um, so I guess she's a little bit jealous about maybe his title to, to anything. I don't know. So, I mean, a bastard child is a bastard child, but I'm guessing there's some fear there. And then we have 179. We have Laliana. So, uh, the, the priest, the rogue that we, uh, we picked up, um, she hearing messages from the, from the maker himself, um, that she has to fight the blight. So here she is with us now. She's a bit of a tank. I looked at her stats. She's got like an 18 strength or something like that. And she definitely, she just tar charges stuff. That's why I changed some of her tactics so that she at least attack the things I'm attacking. She's not just running in and, uh, randomly starting more fights. So what else do we have? We have 179. I have 184. We have Sten. So this is the, the weird, the giant-esque 
human looking creature with someone in the comments said that that they're not really humans but because of game engine limitations they just look like large humans but uh so i guess there's northern islands that no one foreigners never see uh and i guess there's giants there so sten comes around and i guess he's uh I don't know, I'm guessing he's like a half giant or a pseudo giant. I, I don't know, but um, I will eventually probably put him on the team. Probably swap up Morgan if she starts to rile Alistair up any further. I don't know how much, like how bad things will get, but as soon as I start seeing things go sideways, uh, I'm, sw I'm swapping them out. Um, and then I have, lastly, the, the letter from the Blackstone Irregulars. Another thought here, same as the Chastened is, uh, so my initial thought that the guy seemed honorable, like the way he talked, like he wasn't really demeaning or anything like that. He wasn't greedy or like like the typical mercenary kind of unit guy. Um, so Xander's willing to work with these mercenaries. It sounds like, you know, they used to be the typical mercenary group and whatever, but I guess his son's coming around and he's modeled these mercenaries after the Grey Wardens themselves. So I guess this is a letter from the father, uh, Railnor, just show his gratitude for us uh agreeing to uh join forces or, or to work together in the future so exciting times um i i'm hoping that i can somehow turn that around and if it means i have to get money together to do so in order to get the regulars uh to help with the battle with the the blight i think that'd be cool so oh yeah someone did say that if there is loot on the body that it will it will stick around i thought i was losing loot um like the game was just screwing something up but no, there they are. They do stick around, and they will keep sparkling. If um, what is this? Oh, as you say. If I didn't pick it up, so good stuff. Good to know. I'm not, you know, I've kind of been conditioned to pick up loot wherever I can find it, just because of the way these games work. But I'm not the kind of gamer that's like, oh, uh, you know, I left this behind. Oh God, I'm gonna. I'm whatever. Yeah, these these games are so large and they scale so fast that. Before you know it, you have better gear anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so here, I'm going to assume these guys are bad dudes. I'm just going to preemptively attack just because. And this dog's going to go first because I'm done with... Uh, uh, let's do a painting shot just to start. Uh, uh, there we go. I'm thinking that people... I forgot to change the target, and then if you paint something and they get hit, they end up... Uh, no, 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 I don't want this dog near me. It ends up canceling out the pin, which is fine. Oh yeah, see they, they turn around for me? That's pretty cool. Yeah, if you keep doing your lightning bolts, waste all that mana on. Ooh, that's an area attack? I did not oh there's a yellow dude in here. Hold on, I'll switch the targets. Okay, let's uh let's just do critical shots here, slow down some of my arrows. These guys are doing a good job in there. No, two of them are dead. I'm not doing a good job, two of them are dead. Oh shit, no, there's still one guy in here. Two, sir. Holy smokes, they really uh, messed, messed those guys up. The four melee guys. I think I need to get arranged on the rogue as well. I'm starting. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm starting to think I need to get some range on the rogue just so she can stick back too. But then that means Alistair is just going to get destroyed. I should probably change his tactics. I know he's a summoned creature, so maybe I can't do it. But I should probably change his tactics and make it um, so that he follows suit. Now that I finish the quest, is it gonna? Doesn't this game doesn't tell you when you? Oh, that is a lot of crap this guy had. Take off. Um, like there's no. Oh, maybe it showed up down here and I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Oh, we got some. There we go. So we got a log chest that I'm actually totally willing to pick. Because <laughs> it's already evil treasure. Ooh, longbow. There you go. So what I was saying, I should probably give her a longbow because of uh getting arranged with me and, and Morgan. Just let Alistair take front with the with the dog. Two tank it. Two tankers. So I think I think this is this is the quest. I might as well turn this sucker in. I'm gonna explore a little bit further around here. Um just around this hill here. These don't repopulate do they? Those nah. And I guess they I read the entry for this place and so I guess this is the highway. This is the main highway. There's something up there I can interact with its person. A bad person or a good person? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can do this. Great. I can't. It won't tell me the name of those things. Because I... I don't want to be too close if they're going to just attack our faces like that. Damn it. Away with you. Foul creatures. Leave us alone. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's not them. That's... Gen okay, hold on. Oh, man, I can't see anything. I got on pause. I got to get up there. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can you, I forget if you can sprint. Okay, let's do this. Oh, shoot, I'm the wrong character. Where the hell is Sander? Oh, that was awkward. All good, all good. All right, I need I need to switch this up. I need a debuff, so I'm gonna do some suppressing in here, just so I can uh, weaken some of these guys. Gonna lose my my line of sight or what? Come on. Wait, how are both of these active right now? That's weird. I thought. I I thought you could only have one of these active. Now we get a oh well. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Or does it just take stamina, like more stamina to pull off? I can turn. I can't turn on more of these, can I? No. Mighty okay. time oh, arrival there, my friend. I'm ah. much obliged. Ah, nice. You're welcome. Uh, just how obliged exactly? No, greedy. I wasn't trying to save you. Trust me. We're, you're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. Ooh, another this merchant. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Ah, the road's dwarf. been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Okay, hold on. I doubt you want to travel with Grey Wardens, with a Grey Warden. It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Is he another ally? What is going on? No. Well, there's two of them, so I don't know. Okay, so I'm not going the same way. Trust me. King's business, I'm afraid. I doubt you want to travel with a Grey Warden. I'm going to own my title. Bam. Grey Let's Wards. see what he thinks about Grey hmm. Wardens. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can have. Correct. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. <laughs> oh, he's just peacing out. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Wait a minute. That's it? That's the conversation? That's it? <laughs> I thought that would... No, I could talk to him again, right? I could do something. What is this? Sealed leather? Hold on. Maybe that opens something up. Yeah. New codex. So I got to look that up. Okay. Let's check this guy out. Come on, darn it. Just money? Okay. And I can still talk to him. I'm gonna maybe he's oh I see, that's his gear. Oh, I feel kind of bad still Oh, it's a gift. Alistair. A small carving of a robed woman. Oh Alistair. <laughs> I guess he, he what collects collects figurines? Okay, I'm taking it. I don't I don't care whose this was. <laughs> Alright, so I let me see if I can at least sell stuff with this guy or what's we'll going be on. Off. As soon as this mess is clean. Wait, why does he have... Thank you, Carly, for all your assistance. What's this thing over his head, then? What do I do? Can I talk to the sun? Really? That's it? That's the conversation we... I, I figure that would lead to something else. I feel a little bit underwhelmed. <laughs> Hello. No, let's try it one more time. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Aww. Thank you, Carly, for all your assistance. Okay, then. Let's go back to town and just... Uh, let's turn in that quest of the... The bandit quest, the three bandit quest. What the hell is that on for then? Oh, what is? Oh wait, maybe there's more gems in this pile of shit over here. Oh, it's rubble. It's not. <laughs> ah, I love fantasy games and random loot. Okay, so let me let me just check something real quick. What does this say when I hover over it? It says feast day gifts. What is a feast day gift? Feast day. Wait, that's like a DLC thing, I think, isn't it? It's a feast day, something with feast day stuff. I don't know how to trigger that then. Maybe I need to do something. See, I'm afraid to look up a, a lot of the DLC stuff too, because I don't want to ruin anything that might have might be triggered because of the completion of the the game. I don't want to learn anything that I might um, might take away some of the joy of. Um, experiencing it through the game so same reason why I'm afraid to go to wikis um, I just I'm, I don't want to be curious right now my curiosity has ruined plenty of games was. so not for this they also say that plan. washing your feet Wait. in winter makes you catch cold in the head it's but a, we all know that is not true here. but sometimes they are Let's right see how they do with each other and they are right in this you know the stories about I need to talk to her of course too. you think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth my mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Oops. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about they the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. Wait. I. Um, is she just messing with these legends, no, the legend of don't. the wild witches? Or... You really don't. Is this a joke? Was she messing with her? Because that, that was really creepy. 
Because that was kind of the lore of the witches, or, or like the witches of the wilds, is that they would take men. They would, they'd, they're pretty much like succubi. All right, let's talk to this not talker. Let him take notice and shine upon the thee, for thou hast done his work this day. All right. So what? What? How does this work? Ooh, achievement unlocked. Where does this go with this achievement? Where can I read more about it? It doesn't matter. So, so you can keep coming in here to this board and picking up more. When bears attack, on behalf of Thed, the farmer, and his de departed son, I inscribe this missive. As the maker is my witness, I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the northern woods to find the family of bears that mauled and killed the boy Aneth. Ooh. From they are an abomination, for they are an abomination in the maker's sight. Uh, or were they protecting something? And your son got too close, and they're just doing natural order, baby. Darwin's wishes, and their wish, and their hides would prove great comfort to the northern farms and solace for Thed's family. That's uh, too bad. I mean, I don't know how Xander feels about just killing bears out of revenge, out of avenge, revenge. Like, if I find out they're actually, you know, oh, they could be blighted they could be tainted we'll find out uh as chanter of lothering i do pledge some of one sovereign to is that a gold is that a gold or a silver that's a lot of money <laughs> Sorry. uh to whoever carries this out the makers will exercise caution first and foremost may his light bathe us all except wait are there two can i accept more than one Ooh, baby here we go a last keepsake a thanks to all villagers who have opened their barns and crofts to the refugees in these dark times. The Chantry regulars hears praise from our visitors, and your virtuous deeds are mentioned in many prayers. Sadly, there is a lone boy in the village whose mother, good wife Sara, is missing. Oh, what happened or happened to that lad that went running off? That strange lad with... It looked, I mean, it totally sounded like his family was completely annihilated, uh, and he was next by going back alone, but... Yeah, anyways, is missing. Oh, is this what this is about? Sadly, there is a lone boy in the village whose mother, good wife Sarah, I don't think I got a name, is missing. As she has been missing for the better part of a week, as of this writing, she is presumed dead. May the maker bless her passing. She was a lady of middle years with red hair and fond of of a green cloak. So I'm going to look for a corpse with a green cloak. I, I take it. Maybe it's in the woods. If any traveler or resident comes across her in the wilds, okay, please return her body. Or her effects. Okay, so I might be bringing back a green cloak. I know how these things play out. Uh, how do I feel about unlocking a chat? Oh wait, I, I don't feel bad at all. This was part of that. Allow me. Yeah, where are you? I could do that for you. That was part of the uh, the other guy's cargo. The mer Allow me. God damn it. I could do that for you. <laughs> the other merchant's cargo who was a prick. So, ah, are you serious? You locked a, ch a chest because of one deep mushroom? That better be a mighty good deep mushroom. I'm gonna check equipment real quick. Um, I'm not going to leave this, I'm not going to let this pile up again, and dis I mean, I had to do a lot of editing that one episode, Woo. did I ever spend a lot of time. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I think I need to make her not a tank, how do I just check stats, I think I go here, right, yeah, so she's got, she's got a pretty good range, she should be ranged, she's got... She's got the kind of stats that mean this comes off, this comes off, and I'm going to give her this longbow instead. Wait, is it better than mine? She's not getting a, long, she's not getting a better longbow than mine. Uh, that's not how it works. No, it is not. Okay. Uh, I'm the leader now. Uh, so I, I, Xander's cool. Yeah, so whoever deserves it, that's who gets it. Oh, man. Where, do we, where, where does one buy belts? around here that's really so she had a dagger Ooh, but maybe she has like powers that only work and so what i was going to say is maybe she's got powers that don't oh she's got poison making that only work if she's like got a dagger or something you know no i mean she's got the same she's got to some of the same attacks that i that i got so the bard sings an ancient she's a bard she's a bard i have a bard on the team now she definitely needs to go <laughs> I hate bards. I hate bards in every game. Okay, so granted the party bonuses to man it. No. So there's some singing. That's just a spell. Dirty fighting. What's this one? A rogue incapacitates a target who takes no damage from the attack but is st stunned. Okay, screw it. She doesn't need no dagger. Bow it is. She's going to be a bow going forward. Um, let's see. Armor. I picked up a lot of. What is this? Canary thickened cap. 
Can Canari, I guess this needs to go to Sten. We have a Barbarian Helmet. Uh, is it lighter? Because right now she's getting... No, she's okay. She Well, she's getting no fatigue right now. She's got leather, I think. Yeah, so we got leather gloves. We have leather boots. Nope, splint mail. Oh, I know who needs... Let me just check this guy's boots. Are they splint mail? They are. And these are better. So there you go, Alistair. Upgraded boots for you. Nice and shiny. Now we have some steel. Are these heavy? Heavy. I might upgrade him to heavy gear. I gave him this he heavy helmet, and I want him to be my tank. But he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose a lot of, or he's gonna be more fatigued. So he's not gonna be able to use his bull rushes as often. That kind of sucks. But I'm really thinking he needs to be full on tank. Yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna, just gonna commit to this. Sorry, Alistair. Until I switch it up, maybe um, when I bring Stan out, I'll swap the gear. But right now, I think I want Alistair to go heavy. So where heavy steel boots? That didn't work, did it? Heavy steel boots. There we go. Got it. Boom. Heavy up your gloves. Oh, he's totally ramped up now. Ooh, look at that though. Twenty-seven percent more. Twenty-seven point five percent more cost. Ah well. What can you do? Okay. And then for her, I believe it got leather boots, studded leather, and leather boots. So I should probably, if I can get a leather chest, to see if this like leather armor and yeah, she looks much better now maybe I'll change up this is there a helmet I can use that's this thing mental resistance physical resistance what do I want uh, can she wear she could probably wear that cap but I really feel like I need to give that to stand okay that's fine Ooh, she's like super light right now how did that work do I have something that reduces fatigue like how did that work I have no idea how she's getting that. Is that a class ability? Oh, item set bonus. Matching equipment is provide. Ah. Is it less fatigue for leather? I don't know. But she's got it. So I gotta look for that green little sign here. That guy. Sweet. Ah, there we go. Got them all matched up. Okay, so that's it for that. And that's good. That's a good place to end this. And, uh, oh yeah, she's looking way better. That looks sweet. And it looks way sweeter. Now that looks like she still looks like a fool with that cap on, but ah, eh, oh well. I'm gonna wrap things up right here. Uh, yeah, we're at a good time, so I'll catch you around next time. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, folks. Peace. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. No, no, no. I think I, I gave her thirty silver. I gave her thirty silver. That's worth something. <laughs>